uh, okay so why you want to learn this course module course module actually i want to say uh, one thing before we start the previously that uh, for that uh, your seniors super seniors we conducted two module one is a computer organization and other one is a computer architecture but when we look at uh, according to my experience we didn't uh, learn about the computer uh, anything in that our a level or o level so but uh, totally change that syllabus so you you have uh, opportunity to learn the computer from i think o level now the, i i saw that uh, there are some modular in that uh, o level syllabus also so then you uh, you are beginning to uh, to learn the computer modules the computer subjects from that uh, o level so so then uh, this so that the uh, no need to uh, repeat again and again some modules some part of a modules in the in the first year in the first year in the your degree program but in our case uh, we are starting uh, we are, we are the our starting point of that learning the computer organization architecture uh, was the uh, first year in that degree program bsc degree program first year but it is uh, changed now so so then uh, uh, your seniors also uh, taken this module the new module the computer organization and architecture combined organization and architecture combined in, uh, in uh, into one module that's a computer organization and architecture okay so why you want to learn this module identify the study of the main process and component in the computer find out the suitable computer technology for each requirement and purpose so then you should identify what kind of computer uh, or performance you need when you want to uh, study or when you want to work in some particular Uh, purpose or requirement. How can we improve that the performance of the programs and software? This is quite uh, important. Now uh, you also learning in that your first first year also have some programming language and second year you learn that the high level language. While you are writing that the program, if you know that. The architecture or organization of computer, you know you get some hints. how to write the program very efficiently effectively okay so that's why it is said that uh, it is important to learn about the organization and architecture what techniques can be used a hardware design to improve the uh, energy efficiency and performance normally we are talking about the computer uh, software engineers but we are not talking about the hardware engineer who are the built this architecture and organization of the computer uh, or blah 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 reason is uh, most of computer hardware engineers uh, or architecture engineers come uh, come from that uh, engineering field uh, computer engineering that mean example that a more to they have a computer engineering so they uh, and uh, sorry not a computer engineering that electronic side because that uh, you know that uh, in the computer motherboards are completely included that uh, uh, electronic uh, chips so but uh, you can also uh, have a chance to be the hardware uh, not like uh, directly hardware engineer or hardware you can be the hardware designer or architecture computer architecture designer so they have a opportunity because uh, no need to much uh, learn about that uh, basic engineering things uh, the electronic things uh, to be the architecture so that's the other things minimize the memory space to make the program fast and then these are the some other benefits uh, learning this module okay So computer organization architecture still i am uh, try to uh, emphasize that what is the different 
computer organization and computer architecture. Computer architecture is concerned with the structure and behavior of components, such as the physical memory and uh, instruction set architecture of the processor. The computer architecture is concerned with that the structure and behavior of the components, how it is communicate behavior of the component. Because you know that the processor is there and memory, uh, memory also have a several uh, range, uh, uh, external memory, internal memory, internal memory we divide in that uh, main memory and buffer and cache. So, so each and uh, every uh, physical memory have their different behavior, communication and speed. So then these are the architecture and attributes of the computer which have a collective impact of the logical execution of the program. That's the thing. So when you look at this diagram shown in the right side, here, yeah, this is the uh, application programs. Uh, while you study that uh, high level language, C++, Java, C Sharp, you, you, you are capable to write that to some program. So then, and, and they have some design. So then design, the application design is communicated at a system design and computer design. This is a computer architecture sections. And after that, the computer organization, how the circuit is designed in there. So, and uh, how the logic uh, designing communicate with the uh, circuit component. So this is uh, are related to that computer organization. Okay, so I think you can get you you, you will learn that uh, further about these things. Okay, so here I I merge the topics which are come under the computer organization, which are come from the computer architecture. So in this module, all are included. So uh, you will feel that it is maybe a little bit. Uh, uh, very, what's called that, uh, not a difficult, that it's con content is a little bit uh, much higher than the other module. So, no need to worry about that because uh, the most of parts are you already covered in that you are all level. Just you want to uh, uh, revise or recall. Okay. The pro. Uh, Progressions of that computer technology. I think you know that uh, organization of that computer system, number system. I think you follow that uh, some data representation formats you followed, computer arithmetics you uh, followed already, and digital logic designing. So you, I think you have some simple idea about that so gates. So then memory architecture and process. Uh, and uh, interface in that uh, IO modules, input output device, structure set architecture. I think this may be a little bit uh, new things. And assembly language, parallel computing architecture, and CPU. So these are the main component uh, we expect to cover in this module. So what I am doing, I try to cover that uh, as much as possible uh, topics in this both uh, area in that uh, your time period it is a uh, six month uh, normally we have 13 or uh, 14 uh, lecture series so and at the end i will do that some hint you have to follow out of these all topics you have to follow that a few uh, uh, based on that few i will prepare that the final uh, end semester paper okay so then don't worry about whatever you, you when you, when you are studying, you will feel ah, this module have many, many uh, subtopic, uh, sub areas covering in this, uh, our module. So because uh, it is combination. So, but don't worry. So at the end, I will give that some hints. So in this year, in this semester, uh, you are getting that uh, end semester exam based on these subtopics. So then, uh, so then you have to study uh, more about that subtopic at the end. But uh, the beginning, yeah, I'm not 
doing anything, so you have to study all. Is it okay? Yes. <clears throat> These are the some reference books. So you can find that online, that uh, PDF or uh, electric versions. And also hard copies is available in that uh, library. Uh, computer organization architecture and computer organization design, fundamental of the computer organization and architecture. There are many books. And computer organization architecture and yeah. I will upload that the PDF uh, of this uh, every session so then uh, you can get that uh, name and author's details there. Progressions of that computer technology, computer. So this is very basic, but you should know that. What is the mean computer? Computer is a machine that can be programmed to manipulate the set of instructions. That means a computer is a machine we can program to execute set of instructions. That instructions given as a program view. Its principal characteristics are respond to that specific set of instructions. So then because we already wow. given some set of instructions. As an example, we, we developed that some, uh, what's called that, uh, word processing. So then that uh, you, you have to write that uh, program to listen to that uh, keyboard first. So whatever we uh, typing or entering that uh, keyboard, this data should be go to that, uh, uh, the, go to that uh, computer. So then your program is able to read the uh, keyboard inputs. So then after that, you can do some processing, editing processing, uh, putting that uh, uh, font, change that font size. And meanwhile, you have to write the code into display via the monitor. The, that's the program, okay? So, so it is respond to the specific set of instruction to well defined manner. So then there should be the manner. And it execute the uh, pre-recorded list of the instruction. And also this program is we already developed. So then that computer should be execute this uh, pre-recorded list of instructions. We call that is a, while we are booting up that our computer, first we boot the our operating system. After that, while uh, booting up that operating system, what they are doing, they are preparing that what are the existing software or install software in that your computer and give that some short key in that desktop and they have uh, some other points also. So they are preparing that environment. They are uh, getting that what are the install software. So then uh, when you, uh, when the user work on that computer, what we do, we are open that uh, install software. It, uh, it can quickly store and retrieve the large amount of the data. So then after that, we are executing that our, any particular uh, programs, it is possible to save the data. So this is a main component, accept the data and processing and produce the information as the output. Okay, so I will ask that uh, this kind of very simple question. What is the computer and what are the main characteristics in that the computer or, or yes. So then you can give that uh, this answer also or this one also, both are okay. The categories of the computer types. So then uh, we are uh, just go through this. I think because uh, you already know these things. Uh, how can we study the provisions of that computer technology? How was it grew up? So, so one is based on that size and power and generation wise and application wise, we can learn. Okay, so I just go through that quickly. Uh, if you have some issues, just raise up that uh, uh, question or you can some 
semiconductor networks. Supercomputer have the most capable uh, processing power handle handle sorry with the hundred of the processor. This is a supercomputer. Why? Uh, okay. So we are using that uh, our desktop or laptop. We call that is a micro level because the users are maybe one or two. If you are doing that a game, there may be two or three, but very few users are using that uh, micro level computer. Example, laptop and uh, desktop. But supercomputer is made for that uh, uh, work for that uh, more than uh, the users simultaneously. So then, and also it is can do much work than the your personal computer. So now you think much work means what happens if you want to write the several documents or several documents and doing some editing and your processor or that the CPU or processor is not capable to manage these things. That's why they come up with the supercomputer. Your yeah, supercomputer have a hundred of the processors. And computational science to calculate the uh, help, sorry, calculate and copy out that uh, plethora of complex tasks. That means uh, okay, you can study this. Uh, this is talked about some uh, huge uh, complex calculation. Example uh, modeling the molecular structure. Okay, how can you uh, module? The molecular structure needs much, much information. And also, how to forecast the weather. While you are forecasting weather, you have to keep uh, history data. Okay? Uh, history means it depends on that uh, if you want to uh, give that uh, some uh, daily weather, you have just few information, but if you want to represent some like uh, monthly, what happened the next month, or uh, why, when we come back that the storm again, a particular area. So then you have to process like a decades data, not only one year, two years, maybe decade. So then you have to process uh, in that uh, one time uh, simultaneously. So then you need much uh, process uh, uh, work. So then uh, you have to go with that supercomputer. So supercomputer have been used at the preliminary or the scientific and uh, engineering work. Okay. So these are the example supercomputer create to from that 1980. And uh, next one is a main huge uh, towering uh, shape is a tower machine with a lot of processor uh, processing power. Mostly used for that uh, corporations, government agency, uh, and organizing the need to be that uh, store the large uh, quantities of that information. Here, the, the main frame, uh, supercomputer, are little bit size is huge, but they have a uh, hundred of the processor. That means they are, they are using for that uh, 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 handle that uh, much data, but in here it is not like that. Uh, the organizations, the government agencies, uh, corporations use these things. And uh, mini computer, little bit uh, sure, what to that, small than that, uh, about two. The, the, the micro, sorry, mini computer is a multi user computer that is less power than the mainframe, okay? So I think just read them with the idea. So then uh, we talk about the microcomputers here, personal computers. I think uh, you study this. There may be some questions. I will ask that in that uh, final exam and also that uh, your uh, assignments or class tests also, these points. Just get the idea about Okay, so then and we talk about, we want to discuss about the workstation and the servers. Actually, my, that, uh, the 
appearance outer appearance may be same when you compare that to server in in that uh, your home also you can keep at a server server means it is every time it is working server give that a service for others that uh, your personal computer is uh, we are switch on when you want to do something okay but server means server because we don't know that other persons when we they are using them uh, when we are coming that input and when we have to save and when when we want to retrieve the so then server is always running uh, so the workstation workstation is little bit different but very powerful than the microcomputer okay the workstation is a powerful uh, and high end microcomputer workstations like a gaming or if you want to simulate some module in that uh, car so the example you want to simulate uh, how car is Uh, react when they have been applied that the brake okay so then it's a little, little bit complex you have to simulate action of that a car and action of that each component in that a car when we apply the brake so while uh, when you want to do this kind of things you have to come up with that a workstation so and and another example if you have a big data to create the model to a prediction so then we have to use that a workstation so uh, workstations these are the some yes here you can also learn about the works uh, servers i'm not uh, explaining each and every points just go and study these things and uh, and other thing is warehouse scale computer Okay. Uh, these are here. The different is we call that as a cloud computing. Nowadays, they are uh, they are what we call that uh, in that uh, universal say no need the personal computer. You have to do everything in that a uh, cloud. What does that mean? They want to get the uh, uh, their ownership in the in the world. that mean they want to control they want to manage every citizen in that world by them so that's the they are hidden uh, goal of them okay so what happen nowadays when you open that your mobile phone the google can uh, know where the where are you in in now so it's very terrible but they are giving another thing is they are giving that the most cloud services are giving the free of charge most means uh, when they want to retrieve the information they will give that a free as an example do you think about this why they are giving that email address for free they are giving that a much space 50 gb 100 gb free for you why they are giving these are available in that cloud computing like this kind of uh, warehouse why they are giving this anyone these are free of charge you can create that a free email account whatsapp account facebook account and they are giving that uh, many attractive options uploading that to your image as uh, as just clicking that the photo you can upload very they are very keen about this thing and give that a more attractive and more user friendly software for you why they are giving yes they want to get our information as example when you are searching something i think you know this thing when you are searching something ah, i want to buy uh, uh, good computer so then you are typing what are the new components in that computer so while you are searching they are uh they are getting some information uh, now you are you are searching or you are seeking to buy the computer so then they are giving this information to they are sell this information very this is a very simple scenario sell this information for that uh, vendors it may be a local or um, internet so the second day when you just looking uh, when you log in that uh, your browser they will show that uh, as a advertisement the these are the cheap 
uh, price computer available in that uh, your area because they they know where where have you come from your location also that's why uh, this is a very small thing so other thing is when you are uploading that your personal photos in that uh, facebook and personal uh, issues we are talking about the personal problem in that uh, uh, via this uh, social media so they will grab all things so you just think uh, i am not a person uh, much important for that uh, society so then uh, yeah sometime but anyhow uh, they know and you know that a google form sheet google calendar so then they know that our faculty what they are doing in that when you look in that a google calendar they know uh, the, this faculty is doing this kind of experiment uh, this data is very very important that's why you know that the china is not allowed to uh, china north korea they are not allowed to use this uh, uh, what do you call the social media and other google they have their own so i think you know that uh, you, there are some conflictions with that uh, uh, canada and america with that huawei so that's a reason the huawei come from that uh, china they have their own hardware and their software they have the same thing uh, same like the uh, google so why why when you are buying that uh, iphone and i apple and i watch they are giving that uh, these uh, options free free of charge okay so google and google map and everything so likewise when you buy that uh, some items like this from that uh, china they will have their own app okay collecting our data where we go what we are eating everything some and uh, these are not much important uh, but in how they will sell this data and they will know when they are coming and when they are dealing with our country so then they have they already study ourselves okay that's a uh, that's a uh, thing happen the behind okay so think about this thing uh, okay these are the some uh, scenarios in that uh, the open source system and cloud computing so but some cloud computing they earn money so uh, as example they have uh, some uh, advantage now you think you want to analyze the image identify that the facial recognition so when you when you get some photo so you want to identify he is from which country and which region or something like that so so then uh, your computer is not suitable to uh, develop the model this thing so then you have to use that cloud services the cloud services they are offering much uh, memory is uh, memory and uh, processing uh, sorry processing uh, what you call that the uh, work everything are there offer for you so then you just log in you put that data and you can train everything is using just simple uh, that's uh, only enough for that very simple display and log into the internet that's all everything is given by them uh yes so so then uh, warehouse okay so then we will just move that categories of the computer mobile computer personal mobile device pd pmds here yeah. <clears throat> computer that are super small uh, as a mobile uh, laptops notebook there are many tabs uh, touch every most of us come up uh, with that touch screen uh, handheld game console i think handheld game console means you can uh, use uh, some device put into that uh, your hand so then you can uh, feel that the uh, real uh, emotions while using these things so there are many things like the and this is very important embedded computer because why why it is important the computer inside another device when you want to control that your tv i think you already we are we are feeling these things uh, and uh, if you when you want to control that your air 
uh, air conditioner in that to your in that to your personal house uh, that nowadays that air condition is cleaning that uh, air and also it is just check that how many persons in that uh, the living room and uh, what is the uh, what is the output temperature and uh, who are uh, sweating much so something like that that means they are checking that humidity in particular area so it's very uh, complex and very broad so then you have to come up with that embedded computer embedded computer means you can use that computer you can program that computer to do that some particular task and actually that computer is not suitable to write, to use for that writing the word document or listening in the music for that because uh, it it is uh, developed for that particular task so computer inside another device used to running one uh, pre determined application or collection of the software embedded application often have a unique application requirement that combine with that minimum performance with uh, strict limitation of the cost and power yes so that they have some limitations cost and power and the limitation of that uh, applications embedded computers include that uh, microprocessor and processor need to only the to be the fast embedded computer often have low tolerance for failure that means they have a they have good uh, performance uh, what we call that uh, st stability does not uh, failing very quickly so uh, good tolerance that means it is suitable for particular environment so low cost do you have any experience uh, using that embedded computer embedded means uh, it may be a raspberry pi arduino whatever anyone have experience work with embedded uh, system this is also quite interesting uh, area to develop that embedded system so yes uh, with that uh, aviska what is that application Aviska. Arduino. So, uh, what's the purpose? Automated uh, washing machine. So, like, uh, yes, exactly. That's yes. That means you prepare that uh, uh, automated. That means uh, you convert that. Uh, uh, what you call that? The manual washing machine to that automated version. Uh -huh. so that means you just study about that how it is work no. yes, yes yes okay that may be so that's a way if you are interesting you can study uh, i think that you are super seniors uh, now they already pass out they in that your final year so then no need to worry uh, wait for that until the final year now that you have a ict project in that third year and final year you have a very big uh, six credit module for that research so so then in there you can use this uh, system that uh, there are good uh, example so we will discuss later with that embedded computer okay so here embedded computer designing is communicating with that sensors uh, can monitor sensors that mean actually there was some uh, mistake of that writing communicate with that sensors and you can monitor the uh, environment that's a very important that important you can put that uh, uh, what you call that the ir sensors or humidity sensors many sensors to gather the information from that outside the speed of the motion precision of that measurements time duration possible to manage the multiple activities simultaneously 
digital house appearance, uh, home security system, some function in that car. Yes, you can manage some function in that car. Computer in computer in television. So that means you can use the television as a computer. Here, yeah, that's a, uh, the same example given by that uh, I wish called so that uh, washing machines. Here, yeah, there's a processor and memory. Everything is, it is uh, actually mini computer. You can program in here. So another thing is a terminal. Terminal means it is appear as a computer, but everything it is used for uh, input the data and uh, output the data. Okay, so others are remaining processing parts are happen in that uh, supercomputer or mini computer or whatever. Okay, so example is that the ATM machine, the ter terminal. It's a computer usually limited the processing. It is limited the processing. Actually, just uh, uh, just feed in the uh, credit card number and uh, what are the you inputs and check the authentications. These are only very limited processing can be done in that terminal computer. Uh, enable the user to send here. Yeah? The main purpose is user to send the data and receive the information from the server. Or host computer. I think uh, client is a uh, is a terminal that looks like a desktop. Yes, it is uh, look like a desktop. Limited capability of component. Most uh, retail stores, uh, POS terminal, are uh, using this kind. Yeah, you can see some example. And uh, these are the some old computers some are like maybe a abstract they are not implement but they have some abstract but uh, these are the we call that the mechanical computers they are not using that any electronic device so uh, like uh, NAND gates or gates they are not mechanical okay so they are very huge it is need uh, much electricity power okay uh, the previously in that uh, two or three decades ago, the computer is a job. They have a job working that a computer. Yeah. They want to check that, uh, they want to connect that uh, uh, links and everything. Computer is a job. Okay, so then uh, up to now, we discuss about the uh, just appearance, looking at that computer, that size of the computer, we can see that uh, some categories, okay? Uh, Supercomputer, mainframe, mini computer, microcomputer, and uh, under that microcomputer, that some extended version, we can say that the uh, workstation service, server, sorry. And uh, so then uh, they are house scale computers, so then uh, we talk about the uh, uh, small scale uh, applications for mobile computers, personal uh, mobile, so then an uh, embedded computer. Okay, so then a terminal. And then now we will just come up like a inform, uh, formal way. Formal way means that uh, how they grew up, the first generation. First generations like uh, 1940. Okay, so the first generation computers were placed in that 1940 to 1956. The large size due to the vacuum tube, they are using this kind of vacuum tube to save that as sound only one digit it, uh, and the one digit. The control and regulators flow of that electric current through that vacuum. In the end, he Example, I think, I think you uh, you heard these things, but little bit important. Just get that some main points, and why? What is the different? I will ask that. What is the different between the more main uh, characteristic in that first generation and second generation? So then you have to keep this thing. 
that here they are using a vacuum tube. So they many are using a vacuum tube, but sir, impact impact 